It's crazy when you have a vision and it's really a passion, it's going to come to pass. It what is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tricia, but you may already know that. As you can tell from today's title and thumbnail, we're just gonna have a quick talk about being transparent and being real. And I won't hold you long. I won't, this video won't be long, I promise. I just wanted to jump in because I see an opportunity to inspire somebody else. So I'm gonna take it. The reason why I'm here today is because I am currently working on something new and I know a lot of times and especially nowadays in the social media realm and everything else like that, you see a lot of glorified lifestyles and you see so many people that appear to be living their best life. You see all this good stuff. You see all this glitz and glams. And you see a lot of times the finished result or the end product of something else. A few videos back, I promised that I would be more open and be more transparent because people need to know the real deal. I feel like a lot of times people don't get the real because people show people exactly what they want to see. They want to see the good life. They want to see the money. They want to see the luxury. They want to see all these things. So that's what people show them. But people don't show you how they got there. And people don't show you the trials and tribulations that they had to go through to get there. So with that being said, I have been working on creating journals and candles because these are the two things that have been very therapeutic for me. As you may know, I am on a journey to really rediscover who I am and also develop myself a little bit more and to improve a little bit more. And in doing that, I want to be able to be the motivation for somebody else to do the same. I want to be, I want to be the starting point for somebody to say, hey, my life is like this now, but I can get to have what I want, live the type of life that I want. I just have to work on my mindset and work on cleaning up some of the things that I have going on within myself. So I turned to journaling. Writing, I feel like has saved me. And I know it sounds so cliche, but I do feel like being able to write down my thoughts and things like that has really helped me because I'm not a person that just goes to people to talk about my business. I like to talk, I'm a very social person, but when it comes to like in-depth business of mine and things like that, or things that I'm going through, I do not openly discuss. So for me, writing has truly been a lifesaver because before I started writing things down, my brain was so, it was just hectic. It was hectic in my mind and I, I don't feel like I am anymore, but my body, I feel like my body was screaming for help. Like I'm screaming for help. My brain, ugh, I was constantly asking myself, like, am I crazy? What's wrong with me? I don't know what's going on with me. I would have headache on a daily basis. Yeah, I just was not feeling it. I constantly questioned my sanity. Not until I started praying to God for peace. Like, please bring me peace. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I don't know what's going on in my life, but I am not feeling human. I just felt like something terrible is going to happen because I'm constantly doing something. I'm constantly stressing about something. I'm constantly worried about stuff. I feel like it was destroying me. That's how I felt. So I started journaling because a couple YouTubers that I actually do follow, that's what they do. So I'm like, well, let me just try to write it down and see what it makes me feel like. And that's exactly what I started doing. And that's why I can tell y'all writing has saved me. That's how I feel. I'm not anywhere near as anxious as I used to be. I'm not at all stressed. There is nothing right now that I stress about. There are things that I may express a little bit concern for, but once it's beyond that, I tell myself, let it go. It's gonna be what it is, don't worry about it. I am not a big ball of chaos anymore. And it's so funny that I prayed for peace and I feel like that's exactly what I got. That led me to journaling of course so as i begin to journal candles has always been my thing i absolutely love candles i i just really really like candles a lot of us do but i really like them so anytime i would journal i would set the ambiance with a candle or cute light and i give me a cute pen and i would just write 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 and i feel like it helped bring upon my peace and a couple weeks ago maybe a couple months ago it just kind of dropped in my spirit like this is this is what you need to be doing and i'm like yeah journaling candling this is what i do and it's crazy because i seen i don't know i was watching a video and then a, a video of a girl making a journal popped up so from there it was like that's what she's supposed to be doing so i've been working to create my own journals and I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so happy. It's crazy when you have a vision and it's really a passion, it's going to come to pass. Just be patient with it because had you told me a year ago that I would be creating a journal, I would have looked at you like you was crazy. Like, what do you mean? It's just a book. It's just paper. Like, who, nobody's gonna, who wants that? But when you really understand the depths of what it is and what it is for and how it helps you mentally, it's not just a book and paper. So I have created my first prototype journal and I am so proud of it. Even though it's a prototype, I still have 
have some tweaks and things that I need to do on it. I want to welcome you all into my journey of me starting this and also your girl making candles and the whole process of creating this journal and learning to make candles and the whole trial and error process of it all has been nothing short of amazing to me and my cousin just said, just said to me yesterday like you should be documenting this because it's so funny and I'll share with you guys on another video um, about how I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing just wanted to come on real quick for you guys but I am like I said I am now moving into the journaling and the candling space because I want to share with people like once you honestly and you hear people say it all the time but it's like in one ear and out the other but once you really grasp the idea of if you change your mind you can change your world you can have anything you want you can be whoever you want to be and that's where I am in life so I will <laughs> officially start to bring you guys along in my journey of how I'm getting through this process of starting this new venture. I'm really excited about it and this ex inspires me so much and even like I said going through this whole process of creating these things and learning about these things and and things like that it's helping me to become the type of person that I want to be so I am doing a lot of things for mental stimulation and also for just developing myself into who I'm supposed to be and these two items is really pushing me to another level in life because I understand what this what the purpose of it is I know it's not just book and paper I know that because I know what it has done for me so far so yeah I just want to be transparent with you guys so I'll be doing a little series on my channel about this new business venture um, that I am going on and you are more than welcome to come with me I promise that I'm going to show you that if you change your mind you can change everything around you and I just want to be the person a real live example a real live person to show you that with a little bit of tweaks and education and just putting in the effort to really change and be something that you can and I know I'm supposed to be living a different type of life but my I feel like I know my purpose now is to inspire motivate and encourage other people and that's what I'm here to do so I'm going to be the example that this not just talk you can actually have what you want that's really all I want to talk to you guys about today so I will see you guys in the next one where I dive deeper into these things so thanks for watching